Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one-off tutorial, we're trying to see how to work with one of the nicest features of Iris Web Framework, which is the parties feature, right? So with the party, we're able to group the same different, we're able to group several routes together and then use it at one as one endpoint, which is very, very interesting. So now let's see how to work with it. So it's going to be like this. So let's say I have this one, right? This is going to be our index page. This is going to be our about page. And then let's create another one for, let's say this is going to be our login. We have our login page so we have three different pages right but we want to group one on all, all of these pages together as one and create another route so maybe on an api or something else so let's see how to do that in this particular place we're just going to create another route so this is going to be our api let's go as api route so api page right dot html and give it any name then i'll paste my about here into this place so let's call this one as api api documentation or something okay so we have something very simple like this so we want to be able to group route group them together in one place so that, so that you're able to use them in a very simple way so it's going to be this is going to be my main file let me expand it so here, so how do we do that? So it's going to be quite simple. So this is going to be our initial route, which is leading us to our index page here. So we have initialized our app here. We have registered a particular kind of template engine that you want to use. And then we're going to create our, our listening port, which is going to be running on this particular option. So to create our part, it's going to be our V1, right? That it can be any name, can be any name. Then let's call it as our app. We're going to create a variable called V1. Then app dot party. So the app dot party takes two main arguments. It takes this first of all takes the particular route that you want to be. So this is going to be our route. So this route that you're going to be using. Now I'm going to create our first step is going to be this v1. So this is v1 referring to this particular variable that we have. So v1 dot get. So dot get is a particular HTTP that you're using, right? So dot get. Then let's go with our login so this is going to be our login page and our login page is going to go with our login page so this can be can be in any format so it's going to be a function called login page it can be can just put the same particular function here right here but let's create a same individual functions outside it and then use it inside we want to be our first route for our login and another one for our about right so let's go to about page this is going to be our about page and then we have our login so about page Perfect. so let's create this particular individual function so to create this function it's going to go with func then the function is going to take the particular stuff there's so login page then cts for the contest then iris dot contest That is what you're going to do. You're going to supply the particular stuff that you want to do. So what do you want to do? You want to view, you want to view the particular index that you want. So this is going to be our login. Dot HTML. So we are done with it. So this is going to be our first route, right? Okay. So it's giving us an error, but it's going to make. So that's the first route we have created for this one. And we can also create another one for the second one. This is going to be for the about page. So it's going to be about about page function here, and then we're going to supply this about page here as about. Perfect. So we have an about page, we have a login page. That is the basic idea. So we're just creating this function here, right? Login function, about function, and this is going to be the function here, and this is going to be our about page function. So let's run it and see. So go run. Our app dot go if it's to allow mm. we will copy this route and then I'll paste it inside our browser okay, so that we have our home page which is this our ls.html file which is the home page that we have here so in case I want to move to the next route so that the next route was this is v1 right so all this thing is in, v1. So in case i want to move to the next one I'm going to be 
v1 right you want slash let's say login so, so if i go with login so that now this v1 dot log login right then in case i want to move to the about page it's going to be about about and then we have moved to the about page so in the same way in case i have let's say another one i want to put another one for let's say api or something else so it's going to be it's going to be like this something say almost the same thing so here going to be another route so v2 or let's call it as api so api right api let's call it as api and then let's call this one as api so this is going to be our api and then another one is going to be our api okay. So let's change up this and let's call this as our API page. So API page. It can be any name that you want. Let's call this let's call this as a API page. API page, right? Then let's create another one for books or something else. So let's say that is going to be our books. So let's call it this one as books. Right, we have one for API, one, one for the books API. So it's going to be our books page. So, okay, so to do that, you have to create another function for this one. So let me copy this one here. It's going to be this one, and then this one. So this is going to be our API page. Yeah, page and then this is going to be our books page right so we have one for the api api page and this one is going to be the same books so let's save it and then you see that we have our about page our api page so the api page is this the books page is this function here books page you have to create that books page so I'll copy this one here then let's paste it here and then let's save this one as our books. So books dot dot html. So this is going to be our books. This we have a list of several books. Mm -hmm. So now if I go back here and I run it, stop it, and then let's run it again. This we have a books page, we have a login page, and we have our app page. So we have one route. Right, called API that is going to direct us to this particular email. We have another route called V1 that is going to direct us to all the ones that we have. So allow. So if I run this here now, everything is working perfectly. So we have one. So in case I want to get to the API, I'm just going to change to API, right? Slash to say books. So now it has brought us to the books page. Right? So, so with this, it's quite very simple. So you can use the party to you to do several aspects without any issue. So you can not only just forget, but for post and for all of these things. And by that, you have to route all the different pages together, right? So in case I want to check the API page, it's going to put it as API page, then perfect API docs. So that is how to work with app party, right, in Iris. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just please have a comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. So the main idea is that you're just going to initialize your app inside the app party, whatever you want to do, then you're going to pass the route around. So thank you and stay blessed.